Welcome to morning prayer on Monday morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 71 In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you I learned from my birth. When you drew me from my mother's womb, my praise shall always be of you. I have become important to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation, and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you would turn and refresh me, and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore will I praise you upon the harp, for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of Ezekiel. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you, and put a new spirit within you, and I will remove your body I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world.
we're reading from the book of Acts, chapter 21, starting at verse 37. Just as Paul was about to be brought into the barracks, he said to the tribune, may I say something to you? The tribune replied, do you know Greek? Then you are not the Egyptian who recently stirred up a revolt and led the 4,000 assassins out into the wilderness. Paul replied, I am a Jew from Tarsus, a citizen of an important city. I beg you, let me speak to the people. When he had given him permission, Paul stood on the steps and motioned for the people for silence. And when there was a great hush, he addressed them in the Hebrew language, saying, Brothers and fathers, listen to the defence that I now make before you. When they heard him addressing them in Hebrew, they became even more quiet. Then he said, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus, brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, educated strictly according to our ancestral law, being zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way up to the point of death by binding both men and women and putting them in prison, as the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify about me. From them, I also received letters to the brothers in Damascus, and I went there in order to bind those who were there and to bring them back to Jerusalem for punishment. While I was on my way and approaching Damascus, about noon, a great light from heaven suddenly shone about me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I answered, Who are you, Lord? Then he said to me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. Now those who are with me saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who was speaking to me. I asked, What am I to do, Lord? The Lord said to me, Get up and go to Damascus. There you'll be told everything that has been assigned to you to do. Since I could not see because of the brightness of that light, those who were with me took my hand and led me to Damascus. A certain Ananias, who was a devout man according to the law and well spoken of by all the Jews living there, came to me and standing beside me, he said, Brother Saul, regain your sight. In that very hour, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will, to see the righteous one and to hear his own voice, for you will be his witness to all the world of what you have seen and heard. And now why do you delay? Get up, be baptised and have your sins washed away, calling on his name. After I had returned to Jerusalem and while I was praying in the temple, I fell into a trance and saw Jesus saying to me, hurry and get out of Jerusalem quickly because they will not accept your testimony about me. And I said, Lord, they themselves know that in every synagogue I imprisoned and beat those who believed in you. And while the blood of your witness Stephen was shed, I myself was standing by approving and keeping the coats of those who killed him. Then he said this to me, Go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. Here ends the reading. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. The Te Deum. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the Virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death, 
and open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray today to the stories that are making our news headlines, both here in our own country and across the world. Father, in our own country, we pray for the media and the arts. We pray for farming and fishing. We pray for our local industry, to the businesses that work in our parishes. And Lord, we pray for all those who are struggling with unemployment. We pray for those whose work is unfulfilling, stressful or dangerous. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself and so bring us at last to your heavenly city where we shall see you face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 